we are a family of more than 17,000 employees serving to more than 103 million customers, generating 12 billion revenues. Our product and services are built on Intuit's data, uh, Intuit's AI-driven platform, combining with the power of cutting-edge technology and live customer, uh, live experts to help our customers with finance. We all know when you don't know, you are not from finance world, how stressful it gets. Be it managing your small business, be it managing your taxes. So across our product, almost we have live services which offers a finance expert help just on a button click because all we want our customers to have a simple product and experts help so that they don't feel uh, stress about it and they they know what, where to focus what they love best with this goal we have four four input uh, products to offer in the market quickbooks for our small business owners turbo tax for our tax filing in us and canada credit karma for credit score and managing your personal finances and mailchimp our goal is to deliver against three core customer benefits put more money in people's pocket so they prosper eliminate work associated with finances because we know how to do it best and we can manage it for them and give people complete financial confidence so they focus on what they love, what they do best. All Intuit employees feel belonging and a part of this big family. Why Intuit is so special and why Intuit is an awesome place to work. I'm sure you must be all thinking about it. Why you see the passion in all Intuit employees, even when they leave for any reason, they still love the Intuit's culture and they still feel they are part of Intuit's family. It's because of the core values. Anything we do or operate is based on complete trust and respect. We feel empowered and supported at all times to take bold and courageous discussion decisions based on data and with the best intent for our customer. We support and hold each other accountable to raise bar even higher every day. So together we learn and grow. When we work towards prosperity for our customers, we do not leave our communities behind. We are a mission-based, value-driven company and social responsibility is core to who we are. We are committed to finding ways to help solve some of our pressing issues faced by communities in need. We focus our efforts by investing in two key areas. Investing in job creation and education for such communities and investing in positive environmental impact. Reversing critical, reversing climate change is very crucial to our mission because without a healthy planet, none of us can prosper. We all know talent is everywhere. Talent is equally dispersed, but opportunity is not. So through our Prosperity Hubs initiative, Intuit brings jobs and education to students, adults, small business owners for communities in need. The program has already created more than 1,500 new jobs across five communities in the U.S. and already funded approximately 1,500 and additional full-time jobs by 2021. To make a positive impact on an environment, we have committed ourselves to achieve 90% reduction in CO2 footprint for Intuit facilities and 75% for all operations by 2025. As I talk about the core values, one of the core values is stronger together. Intuit believes in providing a workplace where having equal opportunity for everyone to grow is critical. We believe everyone is different and have its, their own styles. Intuit is a place where we support you for who you are. We encourage you to bring your whole self to work and hence a place of diversity, equity, and inclusion as core and fundamental to how we operate. One of the other core value I talked about was customer obsession. And this is all about how we fall in love with our customer problem and use some of the D4D frameworks to come up with ideas and solve for our customer problem. 
like one of the framework is to go broad and then to go narrow when we see any problem we collaborate we go broad in our ideas and solution and approach and design and then we restrict ourselves to choose few options out of that some of the times we uh, we find it really difficult to narrow down to choose one and it's like choosing a bag with you know yellow bag or a orange bag to give to your friend so it's really difficult choice i i believe you all can understand uh, with the analogy so in some such cases what do we do we use another framework which is rapid experimentation and we leave the decision to our customers based on data we understand what is working best for our customers to create a positive impact and to do what best for our customer we marry data with the tech to provide the best and performance solution open source is a very important to intuit open source is a natural fit for intuit and as it resonates with our mission also from the practical perspective if we see a more open approach also helps us develop better products within intuit our open platform makes it possible for us and for engineers especially to collaborate globally and find new ways to solve learn new tech and come up with the best code as we deepen our commitment to open source our engineers are becoming more and more open in the way to adopt to share and to use code these are the few recognitions intuit have received in last few years and of course there is a long list but uh, you know we have chosen just few to show here intuit have been rewarded multiple times great place to work and especially great place for women and we have been recognized by forbes by fortune um, among top 100 uh, as best place to work let me take a pause here and open for any questions or comments what do you wish for yet are there any questions we'll um, wait for the questions to come in varika uh, while we waiting i just have a couple of questions for you that will probably help uh, the sure. on the call if you're okay to take just a couple of questions yeah yeah sure okay um i just wanted to ask uh, how has your experience been with uh, working with the teams at intuit specifically as a woman as a woman and um how, the support that you get from the teams here on ensuring that women who are either returning to work or just coming back in after a break or just entering into the workforce grow with confidence and grow uh, you know understanding that they're a very critical part of the team it it's good that you mentioned that especially the women who come from work and who you know you have who have joined back from the work uh, work from the break so uh, i i think i did not share my journey so let me start with my journey uh, i joined into it in 2018 as a intern as i into it again intern which is a program which you know uh, which allows women who have taken break uh, for more than a year and it doesn't have a cap uh, so you can come after even 10 years of break and it into it gives you a opportunity to slowly ramp up into the tech world so you don't feel stress about it and you slowly learn to uh, you know find your place in this industry and also manage learn to manage office and work you know your whatever were your challenges where you take a break so i took a break uh, of couple of years after my maternity and i was really nervous to come back to work but intuit really gave that opportunity and it helped me because i was not stressed about performance i i took my own time to find where i fit and how to manage so this was really a awesome program which helped me and i joined as a ssc after that program and into it supports you in all the way possible like if you are ambitious if you want to learn more tech like whatever you want to grow vertically you want to grow horizontally or you want to serve community we have so many channels that supports you that provides you opportunity to support others so i'm part of couple of myself and you know uh, i'm a staff now i have uh, you know uh, just recently got a promotion and intuit gives you all that you want to do even if you want to change your tech this is the place for you okay it's fantastic to hear and especially coming with a 
uh, life experience of somebody who's come back after a break. It's very great to hear. So I think we have a couple of questions already. Um, so um, Ayushi is asking, what skills to focus on for a software developer interview and what is the interview process like? So um, it depends. Um, so I'll talk about the process first. So we have phone screening around where we just saw that candidate is coming with the clear basics. So that that's in the best interest for candidate and for the panel as well. Then TA team shares the craft into craft questions with you where you prepare, you get few days and you prepare a small project to present. So that's where we expect you to show, you know, the solid principles and how you think about making uh, taking a code to production how 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 you think about the error scenarios and all those different conditions which are needed to handle in any production ready code so you share the your craft in craft demo you share your code you talk about the design and you know how did you approach the problem if any struggles what more do you think you can do about the project which you have got done so basics on that that's one round after that there is a assessor round where we ask you about the DSL go and the logical problem. Just not, we are not expecting a running code in any of those programs because sometimes it's not really possible to solve a problem in 40 minutes or 45 minutes. But what we are looking forward is how you are approaching the problem. Even if it's a next level problem you have never heard about, you don't know how to solve, it's totally fine. What we see is how you tackle a problem, how you break down a problem in simpler solutions to to solve for the end goal. Then comes a team member round, which basically is a behavioral round. We, we understand how was your current setup? How is your behavior? How you have tackled the different problems when it comes to team and the challenges? And what Intuit do, how is Intuit culture? We do share that in detail as well. And then there is a hiring manager round where your manager will be uh, talking about the work or the project setting or your ambitions. And um, you know, um, is Intuit a right place for you? Uh, you know, what kind of opportunity you are looking for, and all that. Okay, got it. Okay. Um, so the one of the next questions is uh, where is the work location? Sorry. Work location. Yeah. So work location um, in India, we are existent in Bangalore, um, Equispace. And we are supporting a hybrid culture where teams are in, you know, free to decide what they, days they choose to come to work. Uh, my team personally have decided Monday and Tuesday because Monday, given the lesser traffic day, and then Tuesday so that we get rest of the week. Focus from home and a hybrid culture for now. Okay, great. Um... Shruti wants to know what is one of the best things about working at Intuit? Best things, if I am to share from my personal experience, is you are, you get exposure to so many things and everybody supports you like as if they're wholly invested in your growth and in your success. Connecting to leaders in this place is so easy. Like you ping anyone, not just in India, in US, and request for a one-on-one -on -one and you'll get a slot and you can talk about your ambitions, you can talk about the work and you can learn from the best, right? So it's like really easy to talk to leaders and learn from them and connect them for, on the personal basis, not just in the SOCs or the town halls and all that. And that really helps you get that guidance and that mentorship and you know they are in, in support of you as you are. They don't want you to change. You bring your whole self to work, even if you know, um, you're know struggling at personal level or something, we support every one of us, like is a part of the family. So the support it provides, the guidance it provides, the leadership guidance you have is, for personally, this was the first place uh, and I'm loving it. Okay, great, thank you so much. Um, I'm a Mernstack developer looking forward to work in different tech stack and with Clever find. Can you just explain if how easy the transition is? I'm assuming that is a question. And... Great question. Uh, like I was an Android developer and I was aspired to learn more about the iOS challenges. And I, I changed my platform within the team and I got opportunity to learn iOS as well. 
So a transition across tech is encouraged in Intuit. We want everyone to explore more, to learn more, and not just within the team. We have a we have something called internal mobility, which is as good as you know finding your uh, the space you want to go in. If there is an opportunity, you go and interview for that position, and uh, uh, it's it's supported by leaders and it is encouraged by Intuit. So it's like super easy. Um, next question. There are some questions on interview process that I will get to later because I think there's some overlap there. As a woman, how are you? Uh, what is your opinion? How are your opinions considered in the team? Do women also get enough leadership opportunities? I think the question is basically around: Is my voice going to be heard? Yeah. So this is not a question in it. It doesn't matter. Uh, like it doesn't matter if you are a woman or men if you are uh, of any gender like we that like i mentioned diversity equity and inclusion is core to go into it everybody is equal and not and also around the hierarchy right if you have a point of view about anything please do speak up and your uh, point of view will be heard will be entertained and will be like we really encourage everybody speaking up so yes you will be heard and you are supported and you will be encouraged to do even more Okay, uh, I think there's one question on uh, what is the interview process for experienced software professionals? Any system design rounds? Yes, we do have system design rounds, but we don't have a separate round for that. We kind of um, so take SSR round um, uh, and we cover that in that. Okay, great. Um, but just a tip for anybody if looking for interview, just focus on basics, basics focus on design, that's what we are looking. We are not looking for running solution in the in the interview. We are looking for approach and the mindset. Okay, great. Um, I don't stay in Bangalore. Can I is complete work from home an option or is it? Do we have to, does, do they have to be in Bangalore? So we are currently supporting the hybrid culture, not completely remote. So you might be asked to come uh, for a few days in office. Um, yeah, that's what we are at and we are experimenting more and we are learning more and we might change some decisions here in the future, but nothing as of now. Okay. Um, does Intuit support cross-country transfer? Yes, we do support cross-country transfer. It's you switch between Bangalore, any position to another team or you switch to US or Canada or any team is as simple as I talked about the uh, internal mobility program, right? You see, a, you find opportunity, we have an internal career page where you have the all the openings across site and you can go through the process, you can approach the manager, you can go through the FRA process and um, we support you even, even changing the countries. Okay, and I think there are a couple of questions that multiple times have been asked and I'm not sure if you'll be able to answer them now, but if somebody has already attended an interview or, uh, you know, is they've been they've not made it or whatever is are they eligible to give this test again and reapply for it so i'm not very sure probably i'm not sure if there is a ta from intuit here who can take this question better but what i know of is that there is a cool down period uh, you can take interview again after that period okay got it okay um I appeared for Intuit's first round of interview and I don't have hands-on coding experience So I was in a, because I was in a break for five years. Uh, how do I proceed in such a scenario? Because she wasn't able to move to round two beyond that. So we, like I mentioned, I myself came from Intuit Again program and you can apply for Intuit Again program um, probably next year because this batch just started like a couple of months back and uh, that, will be the, uh, that will help you gain the uh, um, coding experience and bring you back to tech industry and up to the speed uh, slowly without putting pressure on you. Okay. Um, Nikita has asked a question on how many times we have to submit our project. I think she's talking about the coding challenge and I'd like to just answer here because there's a little bit of an overlap. So um, in this specific hiring drive, the candidates have to solve the geek trust coding challenge and bypass the coding round. I mean, you don't have to do the coding round it into it. And usually how we do it is we give 24 to 48 hours for the candidate to solve the challenge and it's fixed. 
but for the women event specifically, we're allowing the women to pick a 72 hour time slot when you want to choose or when you choose to have so solve the challenge. We understand that life gets in, a, in the way you don't always have time at the same time. So uh, for this specific event, women get to pick the day in which they want to receive the coding challenge. You have 72 hours to solve after that, post which the interview uh, into an interview round kicks in, provided you clear this coding challenge. Um, anything you want to add there, Varika? No, I think uh, you nailed it. Okay, great. Okay. And this uh, is one of the ways where Intuit shows that we uh, we understand who you are, we understand your challenges, and we support you. Okay. Um, there's one question, I think. Please give some insights into the products of Intuit, the work that it does. I think you've covered most of it, but if there's anything you'd like to add here. So like I mentioned, Intuit have four different products. QuickBooks, TurboTax, MailChimp, and Credit Karma. Those are client-facing apps. But internally, we are a platform team. We build one capability once and make it such that it is available for all our products and in future probably will externalize as well. So that, that capability is a product in itself. I'm a part of VEP group, which is an expert uh, capability group. So though it's four products, but we have hundreds of them internal products. Is there a coding challenge that is already circulated? Um, Truti, if you've registered for the event, you would have had the option to pick a date when you want to receive the challenge. If you've picked the date, you will receive it on that day. I hope that answers your question. Um, by when would we be intimated when we've cleared the coding round by Geek Trust, and probably in the coming week. And I think the interview rounds with Intuit will start around the 14th. So before the 14th, you'll definitely know. Uh, Varika, I'm just gonna pause for a second just so I, I can sure. cross check whether I've covered all of the questions. No worries. I think there are multiple questions coming in that Geekra specifically will be able to answer. Um, so just for the rest of you on the call, if you have already completed, uh, and I think this overlap here. So if you have submitted the coding challenge already, and I think this started around the first week of October, so there might be multiple people on the call who have completed the coding challenge already. If you've completed the coding challenge, the registrations are open um, you know, till the 7th. If any of you have not, you can still register and submit. Once we've received registrations and in the coming week, we'll start setting up calls from the Geek Trust team and Geek Trust and Intuit will start coordinating to set up the next round of interviews. So if you've submitted the coding challenge and you have a good score, just hold on for the next couple of days, you'll start hearing from the team soon. Um, okay, Varika, I think most of the other questions that we have are specific to Geek Trust that we will be able to answer. Um, and I think uh, uh, Shikha Agarwal, uh, she uh, sent a direct message to me. I'm not sure if that's by mistake or intentional, but um, Shikha mentioned that she has done PhD in computer science and completed in 2018. And she worked as an assistant professor for some time because of uh, her husband being in the same location. Now she is again willing to come to industry because of hybrid work culture. I am sitting at home. This is really bad feeling. I continuously losing my skills because of inactive. I would suggest um, um, Shikha just start interviewing and you will know what's happening in the industry. And if you think still it's a challenge, um, explore programs like Intuit again. Um, Intuit again uh, really, you know, is a program for anyone who is not, who is, who, want, who, who wants to come back to work and is facing any kind of challenge. It's, it's not just for the maternity break or something. For any reason, if you have a break, you can apply to that. So again, a suggestion there, yeah. Okay, uh, I think there are a couple of questions that I missed. There's Liz and I think your previous answer would probably help her, but uh, I'm from the tech support background with no software experience. Is there a, a do I have a chance in software? And I think she's being generic with her question, but with Intuit specifically, how does this work? Can you can you repeat the question? Sorry, I missed. So uh, I am from a tech support background and I have no software experience. Do I 
have a chance in software? Yeah, uh, software is open. If if you know the skill, if you learn it from online sources, um, you know, uh, anybody would encourage you to do that. And uh, yeah, anybody would support you into it specifically. Do look at the like the uh, like geek trust also, right? They they say that we don't look at resume, we look at your coding. So programs like such, if you prove yourself, I think it it will be ha more than happy to hire you, support you, and encourage you to grow. Thank you. Uh, there's one more question, and I'm not sure if you or the uh, TA team member can answer it. What is the interview process for a software tester? I think we all, we don't have a specific QA team. We all go through the same process. So it's the same. Okay. Um, is Intuit looking for specific tech stack? We started a journey from the eras of DOS and we are into mobile and AI now. Uh, we kind of almost have all the text stacks. If you can go to our career page and if you see our job listing, which which uh, is suitable for your profile, uh, do apply. Okay, great. Um, so I think the rest of the questions that we see are mostly things that Geek Trust can answer. Um, if any of you, just one last minute, if any of you have any questions specifically for Barika, please put it in the chat box, we will get it answered. What is Intuit Again program? Intuit Again program is for people who have taken a break due to maternity, due to some condition at home, due to any reason at all. So the interview process is very light there. And it's an internship, six months internship program, where you'll be you know, uh, uh, part of different project teams as an intern. So that's your opportunity to get back on your feet and learn and find what, what work, works best for you. So it's like back into the industry a slow way and with your own pace and with not, not literally slow. If you want to go fast, you can go fast as well in that program. So it's like back to work program. Okay. Uh, Megha Murthy has asked um, also, what is mom project? Is that the relevant question? I heard it first time. I'm not very sure if there is a new program launched, but yeah. Okay. Um, just look, doing a quick read of questions. I think most of it that we're getting now are specific coding problem related that we can solve. Okay. Okay. Uh, one last question. Does Intuit have something like training women to come back into the workforce? I think your mom, your uh, Intuit Again program is something like that. Yeah, right? something like that will be. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you very much for your time, Varika. It was a pleasure having you with us. Thank you so much for talking to us about what Intuit does, for taking us through why it's such a great place to work for women. And specifically, thank you for sharing your experience in coming back through the Intuit Again program. Um, yeah. I will stay online for a little bit longer. I will speak to the rest of the participants about what Geek Trust does and answer any specific questions they have on the coding challenge. If uh, I think there's somebody from your TA team here, if they can stay on for a little bit longer, it'll be great. Thank you guys for joining in on Saturday. It really shows your passion. So I'm sure you'll make it through. Um, all the best. And we are excited at Intuit to see you. Thanks, Varika. Thank you. Okay, for the rest of you, thank you so much for joining us. Um, thank you for um, you know taking time out on a Saturday morning and being a part of this. I'll tell you all a little bit more about what Geek Trust does. Um, Geek Trust was started in 2015. It was started with the intention to help developers find a job based on their coding skills. So you have to solve one of the coding challenges that we have, the code is evaluated, and we will match you to an opportunity that judges you based on your coding skills and not just your resume. Intuit is one of those companies that we've been working with for a few months now. Um, and I think all of you have registered for the event um, to, and you, I'll just walk you through how it works. You register, you pick a time slot that works for you. You have, you will receive the coding challenge on the day that you request it for it. You will have 72 hours to solve this challenge after that. 
there were a couple of questions on whether it has to be in Java. Yes, you have to for this specific um, event, you have to solve the coding challenge in Java. Um, and we also have received from the Intuit uh, TA team here, in case any, any of you have any questions specific to this event, please uh, feel free to ask and we can uh, get Rissi to answer them. Hi all, good morning. Uh, my name is Rissi. Uh, I am a part of the talent acquisition team here. I'm happy to take up any questions regarding uh, the process or how to go about things. Um, a quick introduction about myself. I've uh, been with Intuit for over seven years now, predominantly hiring for one of the product lines in Bangalore as well as in Singapore. Um, prior to that, I was with uh, Amazon and prior to this, I've worked with a couple of startups. So uh, looking forward for any questions anybody have regarding process, how the things work, tech stack, work culture, happy to take it up. Uh, I see one question, how to prepare for the next rounds after solving the coding challenge at Geek Trust? Yeah. So basically the preparation remains the same, right? So as, as Varika Goyle said, right? So depending on uh, what role that we are hiring, the complexity of questions varies. So to give you a very brief idea about what we look for a software developer, it's the core fundamentals, which is nothing but the computer science fundamentals, problem solving, coding, uh, as um, Aishwarya said, the, for this particular event, we are looking specifically for Java. So we are looking for somebody who can write code in Java. Of course, it comes with other fundamentals of problem solving, data structures, and algorithms. Uh, for certain levels, like for example, like we hire across levels, like senior software engineer and senior software engineer. Uh, everybody is expected to have an idea about object-oriented analysis and design and OOPS concepts, but it, when, when, it, when we are hiring for at least senior engineers, we look for the design expertise. When we talk about the design expertise, we are looking for the high-level design. When we talk about high-level design, what high-level design is like, how, how you're able to break the complex problem into smaller modules, how you're able to come up with the block diagrams, how the block diagrams talk to each other, what kind of system integrations that you do, how, uh, what is the data modeling piece that you bring onto the picture, and eventually write the low-level abstract code class as well. So it's a combination of coding, problem solving, data structures, and algorithms, along with computer science fundamentals and design, which includes HLD and LLD. As well as for every uh, role at Intuit, right? We look for the core values of Intuit. It's not only the technical abilities that we evaluate, we also look for other values as well. So Varika in her presentation had briefly talked about the five core values of Intuit, like customer obsession, strong together, integrity without compromise, et cetera, right? So we evaluate you on the culture as aspects as well in terms of what you bring onto the table from the culture perspective too. So it's a combination of these two that get evaluated. I see question my profile gets shortlisted and I haven't received the link for the coding challenge. I think it just will be able to help you with that. Uh, I have a question from Malavik and Intuit. Do we get complete ownership during development any product like from developing to deploying to productions or is it a separate team for development and deploying? Okay, great question. So in Intuit, uh, one of the core values that we have is customer obsession or that we call as an ownership. So that means every code that every engineer right have it and um, have a direct impact on the end customer which is going to use so that gives us an ownership in terms of taking up things end to end so that is one of the area that we also look when we interview any candidate like somebody who thinks from a customer point of view and work backwards who can deliver it end to end but of course since we are a global organization we work as a team so we uh, just talking from a complete engineering job family they work very closely with the product management program management product uh, PMO, which is the program management team, as well as the product design. So every team at Intuit uh, have this have uh, worked with these, these different stakeholders, and they work as a team to deliver for the end product. So to answer your question in a nutshell, yes, uh, you will be getting the entire ownership of delivering things end to end. Um, I'll pick up the question, which is very, very uh, relevant to Intuit uh, on the hiring process. Uh, rest, I think I'll ask Geek Trust to take it up. 
would the further rounds of interviews would be staggered over a few days or it will take place on uh, on a same day yeah ideally we want to complete all the rounds of interviews on the same day just to uh, reiterate how the interview process works um, as aishwarya said this is the first coding challenge that you will have to go through uh, we get the code evaluated by the team uh, and based on how you have performed in the team we will shortlist you for the interviews in interview you will be having the four rounds of interviews the first round of interview that's something we call like a craft demonstration so what typically happens is that we send across a problem statement in advance where each one of you get an opportunity to come up with the solution and then present the solu the end solution to the panelists during that interview but since you <clears throat> as a part of this hiring even you have already submitted the coding challenge we will use that as the craft demonstration so uh, you will be presenting the code solution the, the code that you have uh, written as a part of uh, this event to the set of panelists we will evaluate you there in terms of how you have performed what are the parameters that you considered how did you arrive at the solution what are the different ways that you have thought about it um, have you come up with multiple approaches and from those multiple approaches how did you come to the most optimized solution these are the areas that will evaluate you upon and again we will also try to <clears throat> the panelists also try to do is what they try to do is that they will try to like elevate the problem by make more like uh, give a small test as as you start explaining it to understand how you exactly are able to think on the grounds when something goes wrong so these are the rounds that that happens in the first round and the second round again it would it could be an extension of the case study that you have solution i mean the code that you have submitted or they might give a coding problem or a design problem on the go to understand how exactly you solve the third round of interview also would be technical uh, but again depending on the role that we are hiring for whether it is a software engineer too or a senior software engineer we will decide on what what would be the third round be completely all about and final discussion is the is the hiring manager hiring manager discussion as i said would be predominantly focusing on the values of intuit like since you have already gone through three rounds of technical discussions hiring manager may or may not touch base a lot on the technical aspects but it will be mostly on how you are able to work as a team uh, what kind of leadership values you bring onto the table how do you manage conflicts uh, how do you push back for a required how do you work with different stakeholders uh, within india as well as outside of india uh, how do you uh, work boundary less so these are the areas that you can expect the questions to be like like a situation based question like if you were in this particular scenario how you would have behaved how how do you sail through it so there could be situations that you will put across uh, like a very very uncomfortable situation to understand how you are able to pace yourself how you are able to keep your calm think through break down to come up with a different solution yeah so technically we want to finish all these four rounds on a single day but again considering um, availability of the panelists there could be plus or minus but ideally based on our interview process plan that we have we finish all the four rounds of interviews on the same day and we should be able to get back to you with an update on whether you have shortlisted or not in less than 24 hours that's the sla that intuit has been following for many years now yeah uh i think is is it possible for you to suggest something that will help us prepare on software development role at intuit yeah i would say just <clears throat> the preparation is basically more in terms of practice right so uh the thing is that uh, as varika gal said right so we are not looking for a perfect clean amazing code in the first go so give an example how exactly you should approach a problem right this is from my own personal experience uh seeing how the industry performs right so when you get a problem uh, i'm just talking about the one on one interviews uh, that will happen when once you get shortlisted after submitting that coding challenge when you get a problem don't jump into writing the code what you need to understand is read through the problem a bit more understand more about the problem and how do you understand more about the problem is by asking the questions back to the panel just to make sure that you have understood the problem the same way how the panel is explaining it to you so don't hesitate to ask questions that is number one second thing is in terms of take your time to understand the problem ask questions next thing is take few minutes of time to understand how you are going to solve it on a high level that is where your problem solving ability comes to the picture what we look is that are you able to come up with multiple approaches because to solve a problem there could be n number of ways are you thinking about multiple approaches and from that multiple approaches how you are coming to the most optimized solution as per you 
and why, right? Because there could be multiple ways to solve how you are come and as per you, what are those and how you are optimizing it. And there could be justification, like just giving a very, very basic example, right? So you say that, okay, you might use, let's say, a, uh, an array to solve the problem, not a linked list. Why array? Why, why a linked list? Why not a linked list or vice versa? Or you can say that, okay, I, I will use uh, a SQL database. Why SQL database? Why not, why not not SQL database? Or you might say that, okay, I'll use AWS Cloud. Why AWS Cloud? Why not an Azure? So it could be any technology choice that you have taken. It could be any approach that you have taken. You should be able to justify why. Next thing is in terms of, okay, you start discussing on the problem. You start coming up with the high-level solutions. You talk about the time complexity. You talk about the space complexity. And you start discussing the problem then and there. So that is where your data structures, your algorithms, your problem-solving ability will be evaluated. And once you start discussing the entire problem, there could be instances that you are getting stuck. So take a few minutes, get into a silence mode, understand a bit more. And if you're completely not able to proceed, feel free to ask for hints because we love people who ask questions back to us. So ask for hints, make sure that you are able to understand those hints and connect the dots from there. And code should be the thing that you should be doing at the last, not in the beginning. So discuss the problem, talk about it, give your approaches, come up with the time complexity, come up with the space complexity, optimize it to the code, and then start writing the code. So the advantage is that you will be able to write a clean code in one go once this first part of the discussion has been completed. So when you write the code, right? When you completely write the code, just do a trial run by yourself, just to make sure that all the test cases are passed, all the null checks or error checks has been completely taken care by you. Because at Intuit, we don't have a quality engineering team. We expect all our engineers to be self-sufficient, not only to write the code, but only to test the code by themselves and then take it for production or deployment. This is the approach that you should be having in any rounds, be it coding or be it the design or be it the uh, cultural questions that you will have in the hiring manager discussion. All of rounds, uh, eliminating rounds, uh, ideally we don't want to do that. But again, we, we take it on a case-to-case -case basis. You know, there are some situations which I've personally faced that somebody is not able to write even a single piece of code. Uh, even after multiple giving multiple hints or multiple push, uh, we, cater, we take it on a case-to-case -case basis. But ideally we want to complete all the four rounds of discussion and then take up the call accordingly. What is the duration of interview? Uh, we technically keep all of our interviews for 45 minutes. Uh, so four rounds of interviews, 45 minutes each is what the time duration that we keep. Of course, there'll be break in between because you can't sit and have interviews back to back uh, every hour. From which this interview will start and all the rounds will be on the same day. Uh, I, I think I have answered this question, whether all the rounds of interviews will happen the same day. From which day the interview will start, we are looking to start the interviews post 14th because we are, we need uh, the panelists have to look into the code that you've submitted and then take up the call accordingly. Okay, any other questions for the Intuit team before we move on to geek to specific problems? Okay, I think we're done. Uh, Rishi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for taking time out on a Saturday morning and helping um, answer all of the questions that we got. I'll stay online. Me and the Geek Trust team will stay online for a little bit longer and we'll answer any specifics they have with regards to the coding challenge. Absolutely. Thank you. Th th thanks, Ashwari. And uh, all the best to each one of you. Uh, as I said, uh, we are a very open company. We have a very open culture. Uh, don't, uh, I, I would say that... Uh, you should. You can be a little nervous, but it's fine to be nervous, but don't let that nervousness overshadow your performance in the interviews. So wishing you all the best for uh, all the rounds. Uh, looking forward to see you at Intuit someday. Thank you then. Thanks, Rasi. Thanks everyone for your time. Um, thank you for joining us and being a part of this. Um, please do write to us if you need any help with this. Um, I'd like to reiterate that solving the coding problem is the first step in finding the right opportunity for you. 
or write to us at help at if you have any questions. Look forward to receiving your code submissions and all the best. Thank you.